Hello people, and welcome back to part 35 of the build guide. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a break from the downtown, which I've been working on. Uh, a little bit of live streaming here as well. Uh, channel update went out on the channel yesterday. And uh, we did a little bit of a live stream uh, on YouTube for the first time. So go ahead and uh, have a look at that if you haven't already. If, if you're interested in what's going to be happening in the channel in 2020. Uh, we just detailed a little bit of the shoreline along here uh, in the downtown. Uh, which is starting to come along nicely now. Again, continuing that nice stacked theme. And uh, we've got some, some nice designs starting to come together. Which is wonderful. However, we're going to take a break from that today and work on this side of the river for the first time. So I feel like this landscape over here, you know, we've got kind of a nice little island here and um, some, some nice little rock formations and a nice lake to work with. Um, I don't know what you would call this. Is this still a lake if it flows into a river? Uh, I'm, re I'm really not sure. But whatever you call this, uh, this is going to function as our national park. And because the landscape is quite wild, I thought this would be uh, the best place for it. So if we pop into our roads here, we can see that we have extended the roads and um, the highway that flows off the island. Uh, so previously they just ended here, where the two tunnels are. And I know this is where we started the city, and then we expanded obviously over in this direction, all the way over there. However, we are now heading over to here for the first time ever, and this is going to be um, the first time we've built on this side of the river, so we're going to need to plan a bunch of road infrastructure uh, to actually go ahead and make something that that looks nice. So I'm going to add um, a toll booth in here, uh, purely because um, a lot of national parks around the world charge an entrance fee. Uh, the one that I live in, uh, for those that don't know, I live in the Lake District National Park in England. Um, it's like the northwest of England. We don't actually charge an entry fee to our national park. Uh, you can just drive into it. But um, I know that a lot of Americans um, do actually have fees uh, to get into the national parks. Uh, so we're going to be kind of taking a little bit of inspiration from that today. So let's go ahead and flatten out the land a little bit, uh, so we can actually get this thing in. So I'm going to actually do it on the side, I think that'll probably be best because that's going to tie nicely um, with this direction as well. So let's go ahead and do that, let's have, um, let's have the National Park toll gate to sit about there. I think that should be okay. Let's try it out, let's temporarily hook up the roads. And um, we'll see how we can make this look. So let's hook up to here, and then this guy can hook up to here as well, right on the corner. We'll change the direction so that flows back in this one. Uh, and then this direction right here will need to be. Um, just do we want it as a two-way highway will that work okay as we've got two lanes flowing in this direction and then they merge into one i think we'll just have it as as normal road for right now we'll see how the traffic performs on it and um, but we should be okay i think Okay, so National Park time. Uh, we're going to be using these roads mainly, the two-way highway, um, as kind of the main infrastructure of the park. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw in um, a road that's going to head off in that direction. And obviously when we unlock that tile, uh, we can carry on the National Park in this area because we will be doing that as well. And um, also join up with the highway that flows along here as well. You can just see it in the distance there. So we'll definitely be able to uh, connect up to there at some point. Uh, then from here, let's switch to our freeform tool. And I'm going to um, zoom way out here and then just kind of plan um, a road that's going to flow all the way around the National Park. Uh, taking people to various different attractions within it. Maybe come by the beach here as well. It's kind of 
swerve around this rock feature. Definitely have a road that comes up here. And then possibly down to the shoreline. Again, we can do some nice detailing down there as well with um, different little kind of lakeside national park assets. And then we'll hop back up to there. That's going to give us a nice kind of, you know, obviously we've not covered areas up to here, but there's a reason for that. And uh, we've got some nice big spaces uh, in the middle to actually do stuff from. And uh, yeah, this should be, should be really cool. Okay. So I think towards, let's see, where would be the best place for it? I think probably alongside here. I'm going to use dirt roads. And let's go ahead and upgrade these couple of bits here into uh, just regular roads so we can actually place stuff on. And then we're going to go ahead and paint out our park zone right now. So this whole area is going to be a national park. So again, if you're kind of stuck for inspiration on your national parks, uh, just jump on Google Maps and go and have a look at an actual national park and see um, kind of how they work. How the landscape is obviously if you're going to be getting into landscape terraforming and um, then you need to be a little bit careful that you don't kind of go too overboard but um otherwise uh, you can do uh, some nice things with your terraforming uh let's go ahead and jump into parks and plazas and then jump into nature reserve and then we have a nature reserve main gate here and a small gate obviously we're going to use the main one and uh, i think we'll have that up along here National Park, wonderful. That's going to rename it to Cozy Trail, which is not what it's going to be called. We're just going to give it a nice simple name of Pegasia National Park. Very nice indeed. Okay, that's looking pretty, pretty sweet. Let's plan out a little internal network for the paths. So we're going to have uh, nature reserve path with decorations here that's totally fine and um, let's make sure snapping is off and then we're going to start kind of expanding this around again just kind of following the main road pattern uh, I think this is probably uh, going to be a good place for a time lapse I think actually so let's go ahead and map out uh, all the paths and then we can start placing some of the assets and, uh, and see how we feel about uh, the rest of the area so we'll see you in a minute So we have built in a nice little infrastructure of national park stuff and I'm now just going to hook up my tall booth uh, to a temporary power connection. Uh, let's just bring him across. And that, most likely the national park will probably be powered. Actually I wonder if we can 
It's a nice dark spot here. Uh, so I bet six megawatts would be uh, enough to actually power that thing. Let's go ahead and remove this line that we just placed. And um, we'll see. Should hook up. There we go. Yeah, that is enough power. Uh, we can also need to hook up the National Park gate as well. Uh, yeah, okay. So here we have it. This is the kind of very base foundation of the Baguzi National Park. Uh, lots of different walking trails and little different kind of converging paths. Some into dead ends and some into little circles. Uh, we've also got a nice little bridge passing over um, the the highway here, which is really cool looking. And a couple of little dirt roads that span off, uh, kind of off the main road. And then around, we've left room to expand down here when we unlock that tile. And then we'll most likely... I don't know if a bridge might be a little bit too industrial looking here. Uh, we'll see how it works. We may just end up bringing it uh, full circle around here, or maybe not even include uh, this little peninsula in the National Park at all. We'll just see how things develop. Uh, so let's get placing some assets. So again, similar to every other type of park we've built, we need to hit a visitor number and an entertainment number. Uh, you might be wondering why we already have entertainment value um, within the National Park, because obviously we haven't placed anything yet. Um, this is because of the rocks. So rocks actually count towards kind of entertainment value. They count as like a feature um, within the National Park, which is why when we have a look, we can see that we have entertainment value uh, has already been reached. Uh, that's why, because it's counting the assets that are in here and uh, that naturally come with the map um, as kind of, you know, a feature of National Park, which is true. You know, you would kind of come and have a walk around these areas. So the first thing I want to do um, is actually clear out every single tree um, within this region. And there is a reason for that. So we're going to make it totally bald. And there we go. doesn't really look that much like a National Park anymore, does it? We've got a couple of rocks, but I think I'll leave... Uh, the rocks around for the most part, obviously, apart from ones like this where they haven't quite uh, snapped into the road correctly. So there's a couple of them lying around. This is because I'm playing with uh, prop anarchy. I had accidentally uh, left it on during my road placement, of course. So if you are on the PC, the road anarchy, just uh, with uh, prop anarchy, sorry, uh, just make sure that you are playing with it off with your road placement, but otherwise it should be fine for most of the time. Okay, so I obviously do want some trees in here, but the main tree that I want is going to be um, the redwoods. So I'm just going to come ahead and have a large brush size tool, and then just do a single click. And then over here as well, and here. It's not going to be the only type of tree. We are going to pop in a few more as well. Um, I think we'll go for some alder. I think these are alder, are they? Oh, no. <laughs> tree with leaves number two. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the specific breed of the tree. But, um, yeah, you kind of get the idea. Uh, and then maybe um, a couple of smaller ones as well. And just kind of flush it out. And we will clear some of these out as we... Um, Come to build little areas but just so we have kind of a base foundation uh, to the national park we do have uh, lots of nice thick wooded areas and uh, it's not just one type of tree either you've got lots of different types so as the minute it's very wooded it's very dense uh, which is fine which is you know, what i wanted to do uh, let's actually start getting um some visitors in here so uh, let's come to our national park again and then we have a bunch of assets here to play with so we have campfire site number one, uh, campfire site number two, and we have these from uh, the first nature reserve we built, which is uh, residing on the rock over here. Uh, this was a long time ago, like episode five or something, uh, we went ahead and built this. Uh, and this just sits on the rock. This was an idea from Bill and Ted. And, uh, we did some pretty intense terraforming. That needs to be deleted. Um, alongside the cliff here some nice water in and uh, a little campsite so we've already unlocked a couple of the assets uh, so we've, we've already got something to play with and um, so let's maybe start with the viewing deck and uh, let's see where we can possibly squeeze this in I think up here 
uh, would be a good shout. So let's go ahead and place that in there. Uh, now obviously we do want to have uh, some kind of view from here. So let's clear out a little bit of the tree line. Uh, and then we can place it back in with uh, a much lower brush strength. And just kind of fade it out as we reach the edge. And then just kind of delete, kind of look from the viewing point. And then just delete a bit of a line through the middle. And we're going to have a, a nice little viewpoint that's going to sit out there for right now. Uh, let's have a look what else we have to play with. Um, I think we can make a little bit of... Uh, a campsite out here as well. Let's have a look where we have to play with. Um, maybe down by the shore here. Let's grab uh, another path. And then let's place some assets on here as well. So we'll have a campfire site one. Uh, another campfire site two. Uh, and then maybe uh, a couple of different tents around here as well. Let's delete that one there. Uh, and then one here as well. So that's going to give us a nice looking thing. Got a couple of campfires on the go, a couple of tents hanging around. So your national parks, when you're building them on this scale, will be very finely detailed across very large areas. Um, so it's kind of build it how how you feel. So we have a tent campsite here as well. Um, now because this is a much bigger asset compared to kind of the the um, the, the, uh, the little tents that we place, uh, I feel like I want this to actually be on a road. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, the dirt road again and I think let's have a little look where we want to place this. Um, Let's have a little look, see. So actually, I'm going to place it on a path, not a road. And I'm going to bring this down and across. It's in a straight line. And then I'm going to go ahead and plop it in just here. So that's to be a nice little attraction as people are walking through the National Park tent campsite number one. So we've also got a bunch of stuff we still need to unlock here as well. So uh, we will get to that, don't worry. Um, so let's have a look at the visitor values. Let's go ahead and add a couple of policies. We'll have advertising campaign, recycled garbage, uh, night touch isn't really appropriate. Um, and we'll give it a main part policy as well. So that's going to help uh, attract a whole bunch of people uh, into this area. Okay, so let's continue with our little detailing. So towards the back end of the National Park stuff, we have a whole bunch of assets to play with. Uh, again, similar to kind of how we detail everything else. Um, so let's go ahead and make a little bit of a fuss out of this little shoreline that we've got going on. So the way the terrain is generated, we do already have um, a little bit of... Uh, a little cliff face here, so let's go ahead and smoothen that out a touch. Right, just slightly, just so we get a little bit more of a, of a slope. So it's more of a beach. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the sand. Again, the sand is part of the more beautification mod, so don't worry if you, um, if you can't find it. You can just play without. And just take away a touch more of the grass. And then get a couple of these little sandy spots appearing. I wonder if it's something looking like that. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we can place. Uh, I think certainly uh, a little picnic bench would be nice here. Let's place that in. Uh, we can maybe have a little firewood storage next to the campfires. Maybe have a couple of these. There we go. Uh, let's have one of the little wooden tiles down and then we can kind of build something on here so you can kind of see now um, it's starting to look very micro detail which is kind of the point of the National Park 
let's have a little kind of outhouse over here maybe a little set of binoculars to look across the river uh, and maybe a little well as well and then perhaps a couple of little kayaks just so if you like you can head out onto the water uh, we'll give them a little light here as well uh, a nature reserve sign maybe this can be the name of the campsite as people arrive in and we've also got uh, this cute little nature reserve bench as well which is uh, which is pretty cute maybe we can have one of these kind of just next to the kayaks so just by placing a whole bunch of little detailed assets in you can get um, a really nice looking feel uh, I feel like I want this area to have um, a touch more tree coverage let's go for some of these around the back here I'm going to keep that uh, lookout point up there relatively uh, visible so I don't want it to be too what is just um, a couple of little clicks of the mouse just to flesh it out a little bit more so already just by placing a couple of assets alongside your kind of beach area of the national park if you do have one it might be totally mountainous and um, you can just kind of create a little very minor detailed focused community of kind of tents see there's a guy coming in here enjoying the tent he's just going to slide on into it and uh, he's going to sit down and read a book at the start of his vacation and uh, yeah nice little riverside campsite one of many finer details areas um, of your national park region okay guys so we've got some people coming in now uh, i'm gonna just wait until we hit level two uh, leave the game rolling for a bit until we hit the number of visitors uh, and then we'll pop back in and do some more asset detailing <laughs> So slowly coming together, uh, I think where we've had this kind of snaking road here, you know, it's obviously very treacherous, it's a very high road. Uh, I want to kind of add in uh, a couple of little fences just to try and give it that kind of rickety road look. Uh, we'll have one along down the back here as well. Maybe one up and on the corner. And again, this can continue up and around. Uh, a good tip for building these kind of places is leave all your snapping off and use the freeform tool. Uh, you'll get a much more naturally looking uh, build if you do that. And again, I don't want this fence to be all the way around, just um, in places. Maybe have a little little break in the fence there maybe uh, a tiny little one here and again all the way up to the top 
And then probably one on this side as well. So almost like little safety barriers. Just like that. Um, this kind of road design was taken from um, Tomeister, another City Skylines YouTuber. And um, where they kind of zigzag up the side of a cliff. Uh, you guys can go ahead and, and check him out if you like. Uh, changed this up a little bit as well. Just to kind of make it a little more natural looking. It looks as though now it is actually sat on the edge of a cliff. Again, did a whole bunch of detail with some rock assets uh, to kind of uh, bring it together. But, um, you know, these things take a long time to build. Uh, we'll probably do another part on this, I imagine, at some point as well. But, yeah, did a whole bunch of detail in here too. Uh, this is using the more beautification mod. So, console players will struggle to replicate castle runes. As far as I'm aware, anyway, I don't think you guys can get them. Uh, but still, you know, do a whole bunch of detail and using the caves and stuff. We did uh, some nice big cliffs around here, almost if it's like a sinkhole. Uh, and then a bunch of rocks around here as well. Yeah, still lots more spaces to fill out. But you can kind of see now, you get these little spots of uh, detail just starting to prop up as you expand on these areas. Um, so it can be, you know, it's a nice way to... Just fill out a large area with a national park. You, know, you don't want it too detailed. You don't literally want, you know, tents all the way along this road because you know you just wouldn't see that in real life. It's not the most realistic thing ever. Uh, I think we'll do a little bit more fencing along here as well. Do kind of like the idea of this very broken fence. I was having it almost break in different places. Let's so maybe have one around here as well. And then on the opposite side. So it's just little little touchy details like this that'll just help bring your national park to life. Uh, that a little bit more. There's a little bit of a steep cliff here, so maybe we could have another little safety rail in there as well, maybe. So this is totally different to anything else you'll build in your city. It's very much micro detailed. Now we're getting a bunch of people using this gate, but we are getting some people uh, starting to move around now. Uh, we're not far off level three, um, well level two for this one, and then um, you know we'll unlock a bunch more assets and we'll we'll come back to this and uh, and really spice it up. And uh, there's also another thing that we haven't really touched on yet in City Skylines. Uh, and these are walking tour points of interest. So if you come onto your public transport tab and then head over to tours, uh, you obviously have the sightseeing bus stop tour, which we uh, we do have in the city, but haven't covered. Uh, however, we do also have a walking point tour of interest as well. Um, so these are literally exactly what they say on the tin. You can see right here, we have a little bit of purple, uh, some very deep purple here. And some more up here uh, so you can kind of tell people where to walk and then you know they'll they'll go ahead and walk those trails so let's go ahead and pop one in uh, let's create a line here it's very similar to creating a bus line uh, they can maybe stop here outside the campsite um, and then let's actually take them up to the castle first and they can stop by the caves that'll be uh, that'll be fun for them and then they can come and see the campsite and then they can uh, come and drop back in here. So you'll start to see people walking these routes um, and they'll stop at these kind of points of interest and almost take a moment to examine it. You know, if you're in the National Park, you might come and see uh, the old Bagusian castle that was around 1500 years ago, etc. That kind of thing. Um, but you don't want them to be too long. You know, keep them fairly short and sweet. Like for example, I'm going to do one here. They can come up to um, the 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 lookout point, and then come and check out the campsite, and that's it. You know, that's a nice little route for them, and uh, that's just going to help bring more people into your park, and uh, yeah, just make it seem a little more realistic with lots of people uh, kind of milling around in it. 
Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much, if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. National parks are a huge project in your city, and they will take a good few hours to build, but you can get some really sweet-looking areas, um, and it, they do take a while because it takes so long to kind of micro-detail each little kind of mini campsite, if that makes sense. Uh, but we'll definitely come back to this area uh, in another episode, um, you know, there's still lots more to do in this city and uh, it'll be nice to come back here and add some more assets in uh, over time. We'll also do some on the new live streaming. Uh, don't forget to check out the channel update that went on the channel uh, yesterday. Um, I'm keen for you guys to kind of get involved with the new series and let me know what you think. Um, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the nice cinematic through the rest of the National Park now. Uh, let me know what you think of it and what else you think we could do. Uh, to kind of improve this area but it is off to a really nice start i feel thank you very much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>